<laughs> In the heart of the Navajo Reservation, nestled among ancient mesas and vast stretches of desert, lay a small, isolated community. Among them, the tales of skinwalkers, shape-shifting beings with malevolent intent, were whispered around campfires and passed down through generations. Little did the residents of the reservation know that one fateful night would thrust them into the midst of a terrifying encounter with the supernatural. The air was thick with tension as the community prepared for the annual harvest festival. The full moon cast an eerie glow over the desert, and a sense of unease settled among the residents. Elders cautioned against venturing too far from the safety of the village after dark, warning of the lurking danger that awaited those who dared to wander. Amelia, a curious teenager with a fascination for the supernatural, scoffed at the warnings. Intrigued by the stories of skinwalkers, she gathered a group of friends to venture into the desert at night, armed with flashlights and a naive sense of invincibility. As the group ventured deeper into the desert, the landscape transformed into an otherworldly expanse. The shadows seemed to dance with a life of their own, and an unsettling stillness hung in the air. Unbeknownst to them, the ancient spirits of the land watched with a mixture of curiosity and concern. Amelia's group stumbled upon an ancient ceremonial site, marked by weathered petroglyphs etched into the stone. Ignoring the warning signs, they felt an inexplicable urge to explore the site further, their footsteps echoing in the silence of the desert night. The moment they entered the sacred ground, the temperature dropped, and the wind carried whispers that seemed to emanate from the very rocks. Unsettled, Amelia's friends exchanged nervous glances, but their curiosity propelled them deeper into the heart of the ancient site. As the clock struck midnight, the petroglyphs began to glow with an ethereal light, casting eerie shadows on the desert floor. A distant howl echoed through the night, sending shivers down the spines of the group. The spirits of the land, awakened by the intrusion, stirred with a sense of foreboding. The wind carried a haunting melody, and the group heard the rhythmic beat of drums, though no visible source could be seen. Panic set in as shadows danced in the moonlight, and the whispers transformed into guttural chants that seemed to beckon an ancient presence. Amelia, now realizing the gravity of the situation, urged her friends to leave the sacred site. But the spirits of the land, offended by the trespass, had other plans. The wind intensified, and the petroglyphs flickered with an ominous energy as the group found themselves enveloped in a spectral force. A bone-chilling howl echoed through the desert, and the group turned to see a figure emerging from the shadows. Unearthly eyes gleamed in the darkness, and the once-human silhouette contorted into a grotesque form, a skinwalker, drawn forth by the desecration of sacred ground. The skinwalker, a creature of darkness with a hunger for souls, advanced towards the terrified group. Its movements were unnatural, limbs bending in ways that defied the laws of nature. The air thickened with an oppressive malevolence as the ancient spirits watched, helpless to intervene. Amelia and her friends, paralyzed by fear, could only watch as the skinwalker circled them with predatory intent. The desert night seemed to close in, and the once inviting landscape transformed into a nightmarish realm where the line between reality and the supernatural blurred. In a desperate bid for survival, Amelia remembered an old Navajo legend. The skinwalker could be repelled by the sacred smoke of white sage. Fumbling through her backpack, she retrieved a bundle of sage and with trembling hands, ignited it, the fragrant smoke curling into the night. As the sage smoke wafted through the air, the skinwalker recoiled, emitting an unearthly scream. The ancient spirits, sensing an opportunity, rallied against the intruder, unleashing a barrage of spectral energy that sent the creature fleeing into the shadows. Amelia and her friends, still shaken by the encounter, stumbled out of the ancient site. The once glowing petroglyphs faded, and the spirits of the land, satisfied with the expulsion of the malevolent force, returned to their slumber. Word of the harrowing encounter spread through the reservation, and the elders, having felt the disturbance in the spiritual balance, 
convened to perform rituals to cleanse the sacred site. They warned the community of the dangers that lurked in the shadows, urging them to respect the ancient traditions. Amelia, forever changed by the night's events, became a guardian of the ancient stories, sharing the tale of the skinwalker with anyone who would listen. She knew that the line between the living and the supernatural was thin, and the desert held secrets that should never be disturbed. As the years passed, the once curious group of friends found themselves haunted by the memory of that fateful night. Dreams of the skinwalker persisted, a reminder that the supernatural forces they had awakened continued to watch from the shadows. The elders, sensing a lingering disturbance, performed ceremonies to appease the spirits of the land. The ancient petroglyphs, once dimmed by the intrusion, regained their radiant glow, signaling a restoration of the delicate balance between the earthly and the supernatural. However, whispers persisted among the residents of the reservation. Some claimed to have seen shadows moving in the night, while others spoke of strange howls that echoed through the desert. The encounter with the skinwalker had left an indelible mark on the community's collective consciousness. One particularly ominous night, a storm rolled in and lightning illuminated the desert sky. The elders, feeling a renewed sense of unease, gathered to perform rituals to strengthen the spiritual wards that protected their community from the ancient malevolence that lingered on the outskirts of the reservation. As the elders chanted and the storm raged outside, a bone-chilling howl echoed through the night, sending shivers down the spines of those present. The shadows seemed to writhe with a life of their own, and the ancient spirits of the land braced themselves for a renewed battle against the supernatural forces that sought to breach the barrier between worlds. The wind carried whispers that echoed the warnings of the elders and the residents of the reservation, though filled with trepidation, held fast to the knowledge passed down through generations. They knew that the line between the living and the supernatural was a realm best left undisturbed. The storm outside intensified, and the ancient petroglyphs glowed with an ethereal energy as the spirits of the land prepared to defend their sacred ground once more. The balance between the earthly and the supernatural teetered on the edge, and the reservation held its breath, awaiting the outcome of the spectral confrontation. In the heart of the storm, a figure emerged from the shadows, a silhouette that seemed to defy the laws of nature. Unearthly eyes gleamed in the darkness, and the air thickened with an oppressive malevolence as the skinwalker, drawn forth by the disturbance, advanced towards the reservation. The elders, standing resolute in the face of the supernatural threat, raised their hands in ceremonial gestures, invoking the protection of the ancient spirits. The petroglyphs pulsed with an otherworldly light, and the spirits of the land unleashed a torrent of spectral energy to repel the encroaching darkness. The air crackled with energy as the spiritual battle unfolded, the storm outside mirroring the intensity of the supernatural confrontation. Lightning illuminated the desert, casting eerie shadows that danced with the ancient forces at play. The skinwalker, undeterred by the spiritual onslaught, pressed on with relentless determination. The ancient spirits, sensing the danger, intensified their efforts, their ethereal forms merging with the storm to create a barrier that repelled the malevolent force. The battle between the living and the supernatural raged on through the night, the desert bearing witness to a conflict that transcended the boundaries of the earthly realm. Whispers of incantations and the howls of the skinwalker echoed through the night, creating a symphony of the arcane. As the first light of dawn broke on the horizon, the storm began to subside, and the spiritual energy in the desert waned. The elders, exhausted but resolute, watched as the skinwalker, unable to withstand the combined forces of the ancient spirits, retreated into the shadows. The reservation, having weathered the supernatural storm, stood on the precipice of a new day. The ancient petroglyphs, once again dimmed by the struggle, bore witness to the delicate balance between the living and the supernatural, a balance that required constant vigilance. In the aftermath of the spectral conflict, the residents of the reservation gathered to honor the ancient spirits that had defended their home. The elders, though wearied by the battle, 
led ceremonies to restore the spiritual equilibrium, ensuring the protection of their community for generations to come. Amelia, now an elder herself, stood among the community, a living testament to the dangers that lurked in the supernatural realm. She shared the tale of that fateful night, a cautionary reminder that the line between the living and the supernatural was a boundary that should never be crossed. The memory of the skinwalker, though faded with time, lingered in the whispers of the desert wind. The residents of the reservation, having glimpsed the ancient forces that guarded their home, continued to live with a profound respect for the supernatural, knowing that the balance between worlds was a fragile thread. As the years passed, the ancient petroglyphs, now weathered by time, retained their silent vigil over the reservation. The elders, having weathered the storm, passed down the knowledge of the supernatural to the next generation, ensuring that the tale of the skinwalker would never be forgotten. The desert, once a landscape shrouded in mystery, became a living testament to the delicate dance between the living and the supernatural. The residents, their senses attuned to the whispers of the wind and the shadows that moved in the night, walked a path of cautious reverence for the unseen forces that shaped their existence. Yet, as the residents of the reservation lived in the shadow of the supernatural, whispers persisted of otherworldly encounters and the faint howls of a skinwalker that still roamed the desert under the cover of darkness. The ancient spirits, though victorious, remained vigilant, knowing that the boundary between worlds was an eternal battleground. One particularly starlit night, a group of curious outsiders ventured into the desert, drawn by the mysterious tales that surrounded the reservation. Unaware of the supernatural forces that watched from the shadows, they explored the ancient petroglyphs, their flashlights casting eerie shadows on the weathered stones. The wind carried whispers that warned of the unseen danger, but the outsiders, fueled by a sense of curiosity and disbelief, pressed on. Unbeknownst to them, the ancient spirits stirred, preparing to defend their sacred ground once more against the encroachment of the living. As the outsiders delved deeper into the heart of the desert, the ancient petroglyphs began to glow with an ethereal light. The spirits of the land, awakened by the intrusion, watched with a mixture of curiosity and apprehension, knowing that the delicate balance between the living and the supernatural hung in the balance. And so, the tale of the reservation continued, a story woven into the fabric of the desert, where the living tread cautiously on the boundary of the supernatural. The whispers of the wind carried the memory of the skinwalker, a cautionary reminder that the line between worlds was a realm best left unexplored. The outsiders, oblivious to the ancient spirit's warnings, reached the heart of the ancient petroglyphs. The air thickened, and the wind carried an eerie stillness as the spirits of the land observed the intruders with a solemn intensity. As the clock struck midnight, the ancient petroglyphs began to pulsate with an otherworldly energy. Unseen forces awakened, and the shadows cast by the outsiders' flashlights seemed to elongate into grotesque shapes, mirroring the spirits' displeasure. A distant howl echoed through the night, and the outsiders exchanged nervous glances. The wind carried whispers that seemed to emanate from the very rocks, warning of the supernatural forces that guarded the sacred site. Amelia, now an elder with a deep understanding of the spiritual realm, sensed the disturbance from her home. In the stillness of the night, she felt the echoes of the past resurfacing and knew that the delicate balance between the living and the supernatural was once again at stake. The spirits, unable to tolerate the desecration of their sacred ground, began to manifest in the shadows. Unearthly figures, bathed in an ethereal glow, materialized around the outsiders, their silent presence a testament to the ancient forces that watched over the reservation. A bone-chilling howl, more primal and menacing than before, pierced the night. The outsiders, now paralyzed with fear, witnessed the spirits of the land merging with the shadows, their eyes gleaming with an otherworldly intensity. The spirits, now united in their defense of the sacred site, unleashed a barrage of spectral energy. The wind carried incantations that echoed through the desert, 
creating an otherworldly symphony that resonated with the power of the supernatural. Amelia, realizing the severity of the situation, rushed towards the ancient site, carrying a bundle of white sage. With determined resolve, she ignited the sage, the fragrant smoke billowing into the night, a beacon of protection against the encroaching darkness. The sage smoke, infused with centuries of spiritual wisdom, created a protective barrier around the outsiders. The spirits recoiled, their ethereal forms retreating in the face of the sacred smoke, a force that transcended the boundary between the living and the supernatural. As the sage smoke enveloped the sacred site, the ancient petroglyphs ceased their pulsating glow, and the wind carried a mournful sigh. The spirits, though appeased by the invocation of sacred rituals, remained vigilant, knowing that the delicate balance between worlds required constant safeguarding. Amelia, standing amidst the dissipating sage smoke, addressed the outsiders with a solemn warning. She recounted the tale of the skinwalker and the ancient spirits that guarded the reservation, urging them to respect the boundaries that separated the living from the supernatural. The outsiders, humbled by the supernatural encounter, retreated from the sacred site. The spirits of the land, having defended their home once more, faded into the shadows, their ethereal presence a testament to the enduring connection between the living and the ancient forces that shaped their existence. Word of the outsider's encounter spread through the reservation, a cautionary tale that reinforced the community's respect for the supernatural. The elders, recognizing the need for continued vigilance, performed ceremonies to strengthen the spiritual wards that protected their sacred ground. Amelia, now revered as a guardian of the ancient stories, took it upon herself to educate the younger generation about the delicate balance between the living and the supernatural. The reservation, though forever changed by the encounter, continued to thrive under the watchful gaze of the ancient spirits. The petroglyphs, weathered by time and spiritual conflicts, retained their silent vigil over the reservation. The once glowing stones bore witness to the enduring struggle between the living and the supernatural, a struggle that unfolded in the shadows of the ancient desert landscape. On a particularly starlit night, the residents of the reservation gathered to perform ceremonies of gratitude. They acknowledged the spirits of the land, expressing appreciation for the protection bestowed upon their community and the lessons learned from the supernatural encounters. The desert, once a realm shrouded in mystery, now thrived under the watchful eyes of the ancient spirits. The whispers of the wind carried the echoes of a skinwalker's howl, a distant reminder that the supernatural forces, though momentarily quelled, lingered on the outskirts of the reservation. As the years passed, the ancient petroglyphs, now faded with time, continued to serve as a silent testament to the delicate dance between the living and the supernatural. The reservation, guided by the wisdom of its elders, lived in harmony with the unseen forces that shaped their existence. Amelia, now an elder with a weathered face and eyes that held the weight of countless stories, stood before the ancient petroglyphs. With a sense of reverence, she whispered words of gratitude to the spirits of the land, acknowledging the enduring connection between the living and the supernatural. And so, the reservation's tale unfolded like an ancient scroll, a story woven into the very fabric of the desert landscape. The living, guided by the wisdom of their ancestors, walked a path of cautious respect for the unseen forces that shaped their existence, knowing that the line between the living and the supernatural was a realm best approached with reverence and humility.